This special broadcast of AEAC was made possible by Optison Sport Optics, RTI Arms, Diana, Daystate, FX Air Guns, Brocock, Air Arms, HN Sport, Myrow Sport, and JSB Match Diablo. And you guys know the best way to thank them. All right, guys, we're with Shane Keller, product Steve. manager. Always good to see you. You too. For both Day State and Brocock, I know him as friend and EBR winner. And I've asked him to touch for us, please, for you guys that are new on the Day State Red Wolf. And he's also going to take us through some changes for, for 2019. Correct. And I'll probably ask him about some of the achievements this rifle had at Extreme Bench Rest as well this year. Really, uh, really something special. So, could we start with the red one over there, Shane? Yeah, so this is the, the Red Wolf that everyone knows and loves. Been out for about a year and a half now. Um, has the uh, it's a fully electronic gun, fully re uh, regulated by the electronics. Um, most guys, uh, talking about the EBR, were using the 22 caliber, uh, the high power version, which was shooting around 50 to 60 foot pounds of energy, depending on where uh, the, the comp uh, competitors had the gun set up at. Um, Fantastic gun, very reliable, huge shot counts, better shot counts than any mechanical gun uh, on the market can give you. Um, some changes that they've done to the Red Wolf here well, at Ewa. Before we go there, okay. What so, do you got? so there's two things going on here. There's a GCU, which is a gun control unit, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken, right? That's correct. An MCT, map compensated technology, and there's a video here on AEAC Home that you'll want to check out. It was called Day State School. I put it out, I think it was last summer which is where I was invited to kind of their training camp for their day state dealers. And it really got into how you can program these guns to suit, to suit your needs as a shooter, whether you want economy, long range, high power for hunting, or you're trying to achieve a certain ballistic coefficient with a certain projectile. There's a huge amount of tunability in this gun. And you guys are offering the little program units, right? Again, you can purchase a programmer, plug it into the gun and program the foot pounds of energy basically exactly where you want it, there's a, down to the foot pound. There's a lot of guys out here who are getting really good at this. One is um, um, Ken Hicks yeah, he over at programming. SPA Weapons. He's a very good tuner. Michael Went, the owner of the Airgun Nation Nation. Forum. He's a, ma I would call him a master tuner because he's kind of figured this out, did very well with it at Extreme. But how much is that program, that, the program card? Uh, they retail for $3.99. And like I said, just plugs right into the gun. And you can start messing with your numbers, shooting over a chronograph and seeing how the different programs affect uh, the velocity of the pellet. It's really a neat deal. You can change a lot. Um, all you got to do, and, and, and if you don't like what you did, or if you feel like you messed up, you can use that card to set it right back to a to stock. So it's a safe, fun thing, fun thing to work on. And just catch that video. Day State School. It'll, it'll yeah, teach it's definitely you. worth it, especially uh, if you're into tuning guns. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's a cool feature. But something we didn't talk about: um, Lothar Walther barrel, right? Correct. Polygonal barrel? In the high powers, uh, 24 inch poly barrels and okay. uh, all the high powers. And the standard power is a regular match grade Lothar Walther That's barrel? Correct. Okay. That's correct. That's correct. Right here in my hand, this is a standard power gun. Standard. And bottle? Uh, 480 cc, 10 shot rotary magazine, side lever uh, uh, bolt, uh, electronic fully adjustable uh, trigger. Um, and that's a wood stock. That's a wood laminate it stock, is. right? Beautiful stock. A little readout over here, guys, gives you PSI, tells you how many shots you got left. Tells you if you've selected low, medium, or high power, you can adjust Correct. that, and you can save those three power levels and switch it very easily in the field by by you, you basically control it through the cocking lever, through the trigger. You talk to the gun that way. Mm -hmm. um, I've been able to review the Daystate Pulsar HP. So if you want to know how to program these guns, kind of generally when you're out in the field, just watch that video. Yeah, it'll, same program it, as the Pulsar. It, it'll teach you now. Before we get into these, Extreme Benchrest is one of the largest, if not the largest, shooting air gun shooting event in yeah. our country probably and in the, in the world probably most recognized it, it's big definitely most recognized and michael owner the michael owner michael went the owner of the air gun nation forum showed up and he if i remember he took like four or five yeah. top positions with first this guy place in field target american field target first place in the uh, 50 yard bench rest uh first place in speed silhouette and then uh, first place in the uh, one gun challenge yeah we're basically take one gun Go Using through all the events, all the events and, and uh, very impressive. And yeah, then he did well. He did. And uh, what's the price point of this, in case they don't know? Um, the standard them? powers are uh, $23.99 in the U.S. and uh, high powers are $25.99 in the U.S. Awesome. And it's undergone some changes. It has. So we'll get into what we got here. So if I understand, this is the Midnight 
And this is the Safari. The Midnight the Safari. Ken, take it away. So, in the Midnight, same gun as the, the Red Wolf. Only difference, obviously, not red, but blue. Beautiful. You got the Midnight name. It is. Absolutely gorgeous. You know, I walking into the show, I saw this from a good 30, 40 yards away. It just popped. I mean, sitting right next to the Red Stock, this first cut I saw, I was like, wow, that thing, this thing right here is it's beautiful. So, yeah, this will be available now instead of, if you're not somebody that enjoys the red, but you love the blue. So it doesn't replace it. It's it's, it's Correct. Option. It's, okay. a, it's an option. It won't replace the, the Red Wolf, so now you have two options as far as laminate colors. Okay. Same features we just talked about with the uh, the Red Wolf, um, but now this will be the uh, called the Midnight. Okay. Very cool. Um, yeah, I guess, you know, we should I should probably ask you about? What's that? Is there's a new moderator. Yes, the Zero DB. Zero DB. Is there anything you want to tell, tell the guys so, at home about zero it's DBs, a new line? Um, Right now they're only available in the uh, black and the uh, sand, or the, I believe the uh, OD Cerakote. Okay. Um, you got two lengths, uh, the length that we see right here, and then there's a shorter one. Okay. Um, retail, they're about $180, I believe they are. One half inch UNF type deal? One half UNF. Uh, okay. Will eventually be available in other threads, but right now just half inch UNF. All right. And, and if I'm not, yeah, very, if I'm not efficient. mistaken, manufacturing, just like the Day States and the Brocox goes on in Italy. Correct. Right, final assembly for the rifles is in Great Britain. Correct. But these probably, I'm guessing, come straight out of Italy to, to, you guys. to the US, that is correct. Cool. Yes, sir. Yeah, the great units fit on any gun, half inch UNF. Uh, we've been very successful with them. A lot of good feedback from uh, the customers that already have them in their hands. I've seen them like in black, red, tan, blue. Uh-huh. Yeah, right now, uh, in a lot of the shows, you'll see all the different kinds of colors. It's like this, in pink even. It's like the Skittles of the moderators. Uh-huh. <laughs> all right, right, what do we got on. here with the Safari? So this is the, uh, the Red Wolf Safari. Brand new gun. Looks a lot like the Red Wolf. Um, works just like the Red Wolf as far as programming the, the three power settings, but it has a new board in it. A new what? A new board. So a new, a new, electronic G new GCU. Correct. New gun control unit. And uh, you know the advantage of this board is, so for example, the standard Red Wolf in 22 high power. You know, you're doing 50 to 55 foot-pounds on average, sometimes a little more, but you're really pushing the limits of the gun. With this new board in 22 caliber, you're able to achieve powers up to 65 foot-pounds of energy. So they gained another 10 foot-pounds of energy. Is that in 25, I'm guessing? Yeah, 22, 22. caliber. 22. Oh. So in 25 caliber, uh, the answer to your question, 65 to about 70 foot-pounds of energy. Okay. And in 30 cal now, um, right around 80 foot-pounds of energy. Um, okay, before that really ups the, the game uh, for y'all. Yeah, the standard Red Wolf was not allowed or able to get 80 foot pounds and 30. Mm -hmm. So that'd be a huge improvement uh, with this new electronic board. Yeah, you want to push a board. heavier pallet, slug, reach out further. Correct. And now this is um, this this looks like a laminate, but this is actually wood. It's actually wood. Correct. It really goes well with yes. that safari motif. Uh, so that's one of the big changes on the uh, the safari. The other is the new barrel. There's a new poly barrel. Uh, art, Arts. American research team correct and then there's another acronym accuracy research team uh-huh i'm trying to get yeah. them to call it dart Did you put a little day state in front of it yeah that makes sense right dart? <laughs> i like that you got a dart you have to run that by them <laughs> yeah, like why that. not i like that i like dart a little bit more powerful but but no yeah the barrel's been in uh, development for over a year now so it's um, a new barrel brand new barrel safari only, only. only available in the safari um, with the new electronics as well, only available in the Safari. Okay. But we've been achieving excellent groups. You know, shooting at 100 yards, um, we're shoot, achieving three quarter inch inch groups, um, which is there's other barrels out there doing that, but we're doing it consistently. That's you know important. Who are you? Who have you partnered with in that year of development on the barrel? Like uh, Lothar Walther, okay. Dave State. Um, and uh, precision air gun distribution in the states. They've all worked together um, as far as testing and trialing and you know, really developing a barrel that is able to be put in production and you know getting that accuracy from barrel to barrel to barrel to barrel. Is it a, um, um, is it a polygonal barrel? It is, is a poly barrel. Okay, it's a poly barrel. Uh -huh. All right, Lothar Walther. It's a, it. You know, they've done a lot internally, um, specifically for Day State, and uh, it's, it's going to be exciting. I'm excited to see it. Uh, is it has it been a, a slug endeavor or a pellet endeavor? A uh, pellet. A okay. lot of the testing, it's again only 25 caliber, a lot of testing has been done with the, both the JSB Kings and the JSB King MK2s and the MK2, uh, or excuse me, the MK2s and then just the standard uh, heavies as well, so 34.4 grams. Now I got confirmation from Daystate, this, this, this year of R&D they've been doing, this is like the ground floor, you know, this is the foundation they're building 
to go forward mm -hmm. and to tailor these barrels to slugs, pellets, different rounds, different twist rates. If I'm not mistaken, the, um, the twist rate on this is probably a little bit different it as is. well as I think what I they were I don't know specifically, me. but uh, it is for sure. Yeah. So uh, when and price point. So price, we don't have a good price yet, um, but we're being told uh, the stocks will be here in May. So first shipment will be uh, to the U.S. will probably be right around end of May, early June. Okay. Uh, and other than that, safari. it looks like a it looks like a it looks like a Red Wolf. Yeah. Through With uh, new internals and new barrel. And what's this? This is like a uh, soft touch. Yeah, but uh, from what I'm being told, the uh, final product will be the same material as the stock here on uh, the cheek piece. I kind of like the cheek piece. Yeah, yeah that's cool. That soft touch is nice. But yeah, very excited about this gun. Being able to, uh, to being able to push, you know, that 25 grain, 22 caliber pellet at you know 1,050 feet per second is going to be a huge advantage to what the Red Wolf's already doing now, pushing that pellet at 950 FPS. You know, not all of you may know Shane like I do, but he's a you know he's a product manager for this company. But he is also this is a professional shooter. And this is a professional shooter that's won. Um, against other very good professional shooters and high-level competition. So just to know that you're behind this and involved in it, and when the man speaks, this is a guy yeah. who speaks with great validity. You'll see me shooting this gun at your <laughs> extreme bench rest for sure. Awesome. What, um, if, if you said it and I forgot it, I apologize. I'm trying to think of what I want to ask you and pay attention yeah. to you at the same time. But um, did you talk about price point on the new Safari? Yeah, price point, we don't know yet. Okay. Um, we should have that uh, established probably the next month and up on uh, web pages for all their favorite dealers out there in the U.S. So uh, you start seeing those come very soon. Awesome. Now, if you guys are interested in the rest of the Day State lineup, you can always check out EWA coverage of, of Day State Brocock here from last year. You can check out SHOT Show coverage from this year and last year where we went through a lot of the lineup. So, But today we're going to kind of focus on the new stuff. So. Perfect. We're going to set up on the other side of the, of the display with Brocock. All right, uh, we've got something it. else to show you, and we'll be right back.